Hey guys, welcome back to Motion RC. I'm your product specialist, Wesley, and today we have a fun little project. I'm gonna be flying the Black Horse Corsair in Top Gun this year, and I really thought it would add something a little extra to it if we added the Mr. RC sound system that's available here on the website. So, without further ado, let's get down in here and let's show you what it takes to get one of these installed in the airplane, and we're gonna do our best to show you what it sounds like. But this thing is super loud, so it's kinda of hard to film it indoors. So, first step in laying out your Mr. RC sound system is figure out where you want to install it inside your model. For me, I found some open spots inside the airplane. As you can see, it's glued in here now. And the way you glue this in is to use some five minute epoxy and spread that around the inside of that speaker. Once you've done that, you just gotta push it up against that and let that epoxy dry. Now in our situation on this model, we've gone on ahead and used two speakers, but you can also do this with just one. I do recommend if you're gonna do one speaker, try and point it out the bottom of the airplane, not on the side, because when it goes by, you only hear the speaker from the side it's facing. So in this situation, like I said, we put a speaker on both sides, so no matter which direction the airplane flies by, you can still hear it. Um, the other thing you're gonna have to figure out is where you're gonna locate the actual Aspire board. Now, for our situation, I just took two zip ties and I mounted it right in front of my receiver and right between where the batteries go. There's a nice open area there. And what I did is just took two zip ties and ran it around my receiver. And that's how I mounted it. It's pretty plug and play is the good news. So as far as the speakers go, you just plug your two speaker wires in. They are color coordinated, red and black for positive and negative, and the board is also labeled. And the uh, plug should only go in one direction. If you have to push it, uh, it's not gonna work. Now, as far as your radio setup, you can do two different ways. Now, I did it by taking my throttle uh, cable out of my Aspire, which is channel one, and I put it into an open port on my receiver. I'm running a 10 channel receiver here, so I have the extra ports for this. Uh, and the way you do it is you mimic your throttle channel on that open port, and that way, whenever you bump your trim up to start it and the motor starts spinning, it just follows along and it starts to make the running noise. The other way you can always do this is just Y harness off of your throttle. For guys that have ever done an afterburner, it's the same thought. You just take a Y harness, plug both ends in, and go into your receiver. That way it shares the signal to both the Aspire and your ESC. But for this situation, like I said, I went on ahead and put it in an open channel and ran a mix. You also have two other ports. One is gonna be machine guns, which is the one right beside port one, which is your throttle. The second one is machine guns. And the third one is random noises. Now I don't have the third one hooked up at this time as I don't have an open port to run it, uh, but I did go on and put the guns on. So if you want the guns, all you do is put those into another port and assign it to a two position switch. Uh, in the situation of this airplane, I am running a Spectrum system, so I put my guns on the bind button. I like a momentary switch so it's on off when you let go of the gun. So that gets everything installed into the airplane. Let's actually show you what this sounds like now. Uh, in order to do this, you always wanna power your receiver first, or if you have an onboard flight pack, that's the situation I have. Uh, so I can turn my onboard on. Select the model initialize. There we go. Now we can plug our sound system in. And you need to power this with anything from 11 volts to 42 volts. So I'm using a 3S LiPo on mine, a little 3S 800. It'll make that weird noise when you plug it in. The lights come on on the board to tell us it is active. We can also test it by just pushing our machine gun button. So if I push this button right here on my controller, I have machine guns. 
And there is also a volume control on the side. So I have it up very loud right now. Let's go on and turn it down. Uh, Lori, if you can look right in here, there's a volume controller right here on the side. If we turn that down while we're testing in here. There we go, all the way down. It's still gonna be loud though. So machine guns. And then I have mine set up to where when I turn my throttle uh, cut off, it instantly bumps my trim up by about 15%. And that initiates the sound system. So here we go when I bump this off. Pretty cool. It's super loud too, and this is on the lowest setting. As we give it throttle. And then we can hit our kill switch. And then to turn it off at the end of your flight, it's as simple as unplug the uh, uh, battery from your Aspire, and then you can turn your model off. That simple. So guys, if you decided to get one of these, it definitely adds a lot, especially on these large Black Horse models. If you're doing electric on them, like I have, I definitely recommend putting one of these sound systems in it. It is definitely a cool, cool feature. When you fire this up at the field, Everybody around you goes, what in the world is that? And then the fly and they sound great. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, if you haven't already checked it out, go over to our Facebook community, the Motion RC customer community. Join the discussion there with all your fellow hobbyists. Speaking of fellow hobbyists, you can also go over to Hobby Squawk Forum and ask any questions you have there. There's lots of great threads on the Mr. RC sound system already available over there. And as always, whether it's land, sea, or air, Motion RC has what you want. We'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.